Listen, we all know there's a boatload of single ladies over 30 out there prowling the dating apps and sites. And let me tell you, most of them will try to sell you the same sad story. The ex was a total douchebag who went out partying while wifey stayed home with the kiddos. He was a cheating scumbag who broke her heart, blah, blah, blah. But here's the real deal, fellas. Do you honestly think women are ever going to admit they were the problem? Hell no. Even if she cheated on him first and ran off with Carlos the pool boy, she'll spin it like she's the poor whittle victim. He just didn't understand me anymore. They always play the innocent, like delicate little flowers getting trampled. These chicks out here try to play the victim card like they're collecting trading cards or something. You'll hear them say, oh, my man was never around. He was always at work while I raised the kids all by myself, making you out to be some deadbeat dad type. But hold up. How many of us were actually putting in that work-life balance, spending quality time with the fam when we were home? I'm not just talking out of my ass here. I see way too many dudes busting their asses at their jobs and being present fathers and husbands, but she'll still find a way to demonize you in her little pity party narrative. The cold hard facts don't lie though, my dudes. Over 60% of divorces are initiated by the woman, 60%. And you know that number keeps creeping up year after year. If you spot one of those fine, mature single ladies out there on the prowl, you gotta play it smart. Don't get all caught up thinking you'll be her fresh start or some BS like that. These women have been around the block, you feel me? They know all the ins and outs of how men operate after dealing with serious relationships and even ex-husbands. While a young, inexperienced chick is still figuring us out, the mature single mom types can practically read our minds. And you know what that means. They'll use every little psychological trick and mind game in the book to try and get what they want. Whether it's manipulating you into being their perfect man or just flat out playing you, us dudes rarely come out on top. There are three categories of mature single women. First up, you got your widows and women whose dudes passed away from illness or whatnot. Can't really fault them for being back on the market. That's just life-throwing curveballs. And hey, we all know how tough it is for a woman to go solo for too long. No judgment if she's looking for hubby number two eventually. Then there's the cases where the guy was a total scumbag. Whether he was abusive, a cheating degenerate, or had his life ruined by addiction, I can't get too mad at a woman ditching that kind of toxic situation. It happens. But now we come to category three, the real danger zone, fellas. These are the women who did the ditching, cheating, and replacing all on their own. Probably got a little bored, decided the grass was greener, and jumped ship to go chase fresh meat. And unfortunately, this group seems to make up most of the single mom population out there nowadays. Brutal, but true. No matter how hot she is or how good her sales pitch sounds, you gotta be extremely cautious around one of these types. She'll try her hardest to lure you in with that whole you're so different routine. But at the end of the day, she's the one who was disloyal and destructive to her previous situation. Do you really want to wife up or commit to someone like that long term? I'll let you make that call for yourself. Now, I'm going to give you the lowdown on mature women, what they're into in the bedroom, and the kind of dudes they're dreaming about. Some of this info might be old news to you, but some of it might be brand new. Either way, it never hurts to expand your knowledge and get a better understanding of what's going on in her head, right? So let's dive in. The first type of dudes that both single and married mature ladies are into is financially stable guys. Especially if her current hubby isn't bringing in the big bucks, she's going to be dreaming of a man who's got his finances on lock. And if she's single, well, she's going to be dreaming even harder. Trust me, dudes who are financially stable have got it made when it comes to getting intimate with mature ladies. But here's the thing. Financially successful guys often invest their cash in younger babes rather than mature women. But let me tell you, every single lady out there desires a man who's got his finances in order. They see these guys as top-notch providers. Back in the day, ladies were into dudes who could hunt well or were great warriors. But now, your weapons and combat skills are your money and the amount in your bank account. With money, you can satisfy up to 90% of a lady's needs. Think about it. Who's she gonna have more fun with? A broke dude who walks with her in the park? Or a rich guy who drives her around in a Ferrari? Obviously, it's gonna be the second option for a lot of ladies. And even if the first option is a more interesting dude, she's still going to have a better time with the one who's got more cash. Because at the end of the day, 
A lady's needs all come down to money. She's going to be willing to do whatever a high-status dude wants in bed because ladies put resources at the top of their needs. And let's not forget, mature ladies often have kids. She knows that a broke dude isn't going to cut it. She's going to be on the lookout for a more successful dude who can provide not only for her, but also for her kids. So mature ladies are willing to go the extra mile for money, whether they're single or married. But even if she's married, she might be thinking about leaving for another dude if her hubby isn't bringing in the dough. The second type of dudes that mature women are sexually attracted to. This is something that's not often talked about, even by mature women themselves. But trust me, they're secretly dreaming of trying out a younger man in the bedroom. I've seen it on forums and heard it from my own sources. Mature women are into young, handsome dudes who are 10 or even more years younger than them. I mean, who doesn't like young blood, right? You might think that only we guys, if we're already adults, want to sleep with an 18-year-old hottie. But you're wrong. Many mature women in their 30s and even 40s are dreaming of a young 20-year-old dude. They're just too embarrassed to admit it because how can she be seen with a snot-nosed kid like that? But let's be real, ladies like what's practically impossible for them to have. An older woman doesn't have many chances to sleep with a young dude because young guys are usually into their own age group. Only dudes who are into mommies are going to pay attention to mature women. But hey, if you're a young dude who's into older ladies, let me know in the comments. I want to see how many of you are out there. And the last category of men that mature women dream about. Psychologically smart, and even smarter than her. See, as women get older and more experienced in life, they start valuing a sharp mind and intelligence way more than they did in their party years. They're over all the superficial pretty boy nonsense at this stage. Give them a dude who can stimulate them intellectually and match or exceed their own smarts. That's the real aphrodisiac right there. It's like a mental chess match of sorts. She'll subtly test you, try to suss out if you've got the life experience and critical thinking ability to engage her on a deeper level. And if you prove to be her equal or superior when it comes to profound thoughts and hot takes, sheesh, you might as well be Brad Pitt with a body sculpted by Michelangelo himself in her eyes. These ladies get off on a man who can analyze situations with nuance, articulate himself clearly, and generally prove his maturity of mind. They want a partner they can vibe with and respect for more than just his looks or bank account. An impressive cerebral repertoire gives you crazy high value. So while the fellas chasing college girls are over there impressing with their six-pack abs, you wise veteran kings should be out here sharpening your discourse abilities. Counter her perspectives with thoughtful rebuttals. Demonstrate you have insight and wisdom beyond your years. Believe me, that alpha intellectual energy is pure, unbridled aphrodisiac for the sophisticated single mom crowd. Just some food for thought from yours truly. Let that wisdom marinate, my dudes.